Anyway, uh, Howard here again. Yes, it's him again. Oh no, not him again. Uh, what I want to talk about today is playing a guitar boogie, a fast boogie, which is really just a blues shuffle at a much higher tempo, right? And the tempos can vary a lot, but it's, uh, it's a really cool feel and fun to play. Uh, Wicked World by Black Sabbath, for instance, is... Uh, is it Wicked World? Yes, it is. Wicked World from Black Sabbath is a is a shuffle, a, a boogie groove. Uh, Hot for Teacher from Van Halen, of course, shot from a cannon at a very high tempo. And uh, Jeff's Boogie, you know, Jeff Beck with the Yardbirds, which is really what this is based on. And uh, if you guys like uh, what I cover in this video, I'll probably do Jeff's Boogie, okay? Because it's a very, very cool tune to play. So the first thing we want to understand about this feel is that it's just a blues shuffle. As I said, just played at a much higher tempo. So it's just got that shuffle feel. But what's cool about this is they'll often do that, like with the Sabbath tune and Jeff's Boogie, pop some chords and then throw in these licks but all the licks have to maintain that boogie shuffle feel. So they have to swing as well. So if you slow it down like I just did, you wanna hear that in the licks themselves in between the chords. So you can see on the tab what I'm playing, but the most important thing is that those licks, once again, in between are swinging, okay? So let me lay the whole thing out for you nice and slow. It's just a couple of licks right now, and I move them through the different octaves on the guitar, and then there's some extra stuff added at the end. So let's do the main licks first. just two licks and they're all the same but on this last one we add very reminiscent of Jeff's boogie of course uh, but let me play that one nice and slow for you and that comes off the tail end of this so that'll be the last one in line. And again, you just want the whole thing swinging, okay? Then what I did is I moved to a D9 chord. And uh, again, this is reminiscent of Jeff's Boogie, which I'll probably do a complete lesson for, hopefully, soon. Anyway, we're on a D9 chord, and again, it's swinging. So I'm just taking that D9, 5 on the A string, 4 on the D string, 5 on the G, 5 on the B. I'm moving it down a half step to a D flat 9, okay? And the right hand is... So you've got that down stroke, another down stroke with a mute, okay? And then another down stroke. Down, up, down as you make your way to the D flat 9. So real slow for that boogie pattern, that boogie groove, <laughs> we've got this. And again, just make sure that it is swinging. 
And then we move to a standard A boogie pattern, open A string, two, four, five, four on the D string. But again in the right hand. That shuffle groove, right? So those two together we have Back to the D9 chord. So that second time through, we go down to the D flat, back to the D9, and then up to D sharp 9 or E flat 9, however you choose to look at it. All the way up to E9, then E7 sharp 9. So take that pinky, slide it over to the eighth fret on the B string. We've got the, uh, the Hendrix chord, okay? We've got an E7 sharp 9. So all together we have. All right. And then we're walking back into the head of the tune, okay? So that's second fret on the E string, third fret, fourth fret and we're back in. Okay, so let me put all of that together for you up to tempo. And we move back into the head of the tune, right? But with a different lick. Uh, this is really a rockabilly style lick, and uh, again, the most important thing about this note collection is that it all swings. Very, very important. Just swing it as best you can, and then we go to a lick that we played before. So we've got... And now we have... Always back to that lick for the most part, okay? So let me play this one for you nice and slow. And that one's going to go by pretty quick depending on what tempo you're playing this at. You know, whatever tempo you're playing it at. And then I just did a little pick squeezing stuff. But just improvise on that if you want to. But again... You're looking for those pinched harmonics, right? That type of thing. And then I played a lick which I kind of messed up actually. <laughs> I just improvised. I didn't know what I was playing, but. That is a proper way to play it, okay? That's the refined version, I'll call it, right? So let me play that one slow. some glissandos at the end there. And you just kind of end it, all right? So uh, there's a little improvisation in that second part, obviously, but uh, some of the licks are really specific, so uh, I'll just go over that again. So here we go. So, as I say, the pick squeezed part is just basically ad-libbed or improvised, but what I've tabbed out for you there is exactly what I just played. But feel free to uh, mosh it up, do whatever you want to do with it, okay?
Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're interested in pursuing this a little bit more, uh, just let me know. And like I say, I'll probably wind up doing Jeff's Boogie, which is just incredible. Uh, he did it with the Yardbirds. You might want to look that up if you're not familiar with it already. And uh, as a note, I do have a full tutorial online here for Sabbath's uh, Wicked World, okay? Which is this exact same feel that we're talking about. So uh, uh, you can look for that one if you want as well. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And... Uh, We'll see you soon. Bye.